push the hiss out. Also, why are they called hiss? That's just snakeist. You can't just. Ugh, it's so rude. Cleanse the hiss corrupted agent. Is there a map? No. Oh, okay. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials that can dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain, informed by our own, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can even be artificially probably germinated in culture using something. Baru made anthology television program. Is this the Animorphs? <laughs> Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomena contain clear elements of popularized folklore, laws that only occur on blank. A pair of scissors that consume human blank through two punctures on Wait, are these scissors that consume human blood through punctures on the neck? So, like, vampire scissors? Huh. These details, living in the minds of so many, have been given the strength, given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children, they're paranatural realities waiting to happen. Huh. Oh! Hold on. Scissors. Um, uh, what was it? Who was Willow? Don't mention scissors, blood, law. Okay, so I think Willow um, got the vampire scissors. He got vampire scissors in Alaska. All right. Interesting. All right, and I think this one was a new one. Yeah, that's, that's the question. Do the vampire scissors turn other people into scissors? Or is it like... Oh wait, are they, are they like scissors that control a person into using them? Or do they like float around? Can they fly? Do they like flap their handles like a bat? Or do they just move via telekinesis? You know, I feel like these, I feel like the more we learn about these scissors, uh, the more questions I actually have. Um, let's see. Check out the suspected on Duluth. Wasn't anything just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that. My team is getting pretty sick of duds. We need to find a better way to sort the fake odds from the real things. Or you need to rotate these field agents off for a bit. Anyway, en route to the Sherman Ranch. Next one on the list. Let's hope it's a little light, livelier there. Sherman Ranch. Sherman Ranch rings a bell. Um, I think that's it for materials. Okay. Ooh, I see spooky fractal. Oh, this is probably the cleanse the agent. Let me just do my normal force powers. Ah, oh, I just turned her into dust. It didn't cool. work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Ooh, that sounds not so great. Jesse, over here. Oh, she's up We there. need to make a plan, Jesse. We need to cook, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. <laughs> we did science to that person. They did not survive. I'll risk it. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown. <laughs> the hometown of Ordinary? <laughs> the Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. 
I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with ordinary. You were at ground zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. One, the director. I could try to dig out some so that means I'm in charge. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Yeah, there is okay. a nice bit That's of balance with That's to my just a little department. out of He's phase of, of normal. communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. I'm just a person with a gun. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. I mean, you can do like force pushes. So what like... scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. He's speaking in past tense? I feel like there's a bit of temporal fuckery going on too. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the bombs department <laughs> is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow right. the signs to the mail room. Getting into the, the void is pretty apropos. Through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the also, hotline. Also, let me know if the Thanks, sound Emily. effect didn't happen. I think I have the thing for automatically fixing the issue that OBS has, but I'm not 100% certain if it did work. Feels like a lot of my streamer bot and OBS connections went sideways recently. Ugh, I might need to just rebuild everything. Enter the communications department. Um. Hold on, that mentioned fast travel. Can I fast travel to the communications department? Very rude of that siren going by. Alright, sector elevator. Communications department. Thank you, fractal thing. Which I now presume is opening doors for me. A welcome message. Personal mod, health boost. Huh.
push the fingers through the surface into the wet. Oh, that's, that's, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ah. Oh, energy recovery speed. Let's go with energy recovery speed. No weapon mods. I'm the director, why do I not have clearance? I should have the most clearance. This is bullshit. All they did was give me a gun. Hey, buddy. Uh, you okay? He'll be fine. He just fell in the uh, raspberry jam jar. I'm sure this place has a tub of raspberry jam. He aimed at me first. You saw it. I'm trying to collect shit here, if you mind. Alright. Alright, the sounds are getting louder, and that concerns me. Let's go into the spooky light. Oh, that kills me! Never mind, no spooky light. It's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. With you on that. Noted. Do not go in spooky light. It is in fact too spooky for me. Wonder if it's a need to get more control points kind of thing. Whoa! Alright, alright, alright. So far, combat is not too bad. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. Well, this place was blocked off, now we can go through. Dead letters. Huh. So, looks like ads are coming up soon. In case you need to adjust volume. Also a reminder, if you have a Twitch Prime, use your Prime sub somewhere. Whether it's here or elsewhere. I just got a force field. Because when you use it, you're basically taking money from Basil's pocket. And ain't that the most ethical theft you can do. Yeah! Broke your shield! Hmm. Damn, my accuracy is shit. Good thing it's not a gritty first person shooter. Alright, alright. Not too bad. Um, is this place going to be too spooky for me? Alright. Alright. Oh, this is a control point, isn't it? Hell yeah. Just do your little horse psychic thing. Remove all squares. There we go. All right, all right. Ooh, what's over here? Hold on. You already mentioned fast travel. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts 
vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <laughs> uh, yes, a very powerful floppy disk? Question mark? Communications are on the right track. The hole in your room is the hole in you. What? What the fuck? Dead presidents. Alright. Trying to get, like, a bunch of things to read so I can do them in, like, batches. So I don't want to... Don't want to do, like, um... The Talos Principle. Or... Uh... Stop too often. Ooh. What's on this TV? Well, that's terrifying. I hope that wasn't... You bastard. You're gonna make me regret having that, aren't you? <laughs> More cube! That said weapon mod. Exclusive to shatter, alright. Can't put it on our pistol. Not sure how I feel about giving me my first weapon mod I can possibly run into to something I don't have. This game certainly has physics. <laughs> okay. Let's continue on to the communications department. Wait, did I already go in here? Yes. That's right, I watched that TV in there. And people just are spilling their raspberry jars all over the place here. Come on, people. Keep the office clean, alright? Don't make more work for the janitor. I don't... 
like that. I don't like that sound. Please stop having a meat sound. Object of power. Looks like the on the the oh shit! Oh, now I can crouch. Reach the object of power and cleanse it. Oh, okay. Okay, let's let it shoot. Let me run. Ow! I'm using that leg. Another thing. Alright. House memory. Huh. Okay, we gotta go to the other side. Alright, alright, alright. Think up here, maybe? Then we cross over. Okay, alright. I think we got it. I think we got it. Ooh, is it? I think it's the floppy disk. Yeah, I figured it'd be the floppy disk shooting things. Take this, Russian nuclear launch code square. Teach us it's to believe to right. hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Wait, did she already have a spooky voice before? Ooh. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm gonna physics all the things. Thingamajig. Let's take a cube, just in case. Alright, seems like I can't dash while I'm holding something. Make way! Make way! Alright, alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, yes! Ammo-less damage. You'll love to see it. Give me some of that rubble. Cube to the face! Cube to the face! <laughs> oh, ah, yes! Alright, I'll shoot you, but... Yeet! Burrowing into our astral plane. Okay, so we do have some extra dimensional shenaniganery. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? This will help me fight the hiss. Uh, so I wonder if we're in like a. Uh... In the middle of like a multiple um, astral entity, so like maybe there's the board, the entity that's with the bureau, and then there's whatever best friend person we've got in our head. Where did the guy go? Where are you? down there, and I'm up here. Such a shame. 
you're so fragile. Alright, alright. Making some progress. Uh, I hope insurance covers all of this. Uh, I feel like that clearance thing is gonna be a bit of a backtrack thing. Like, I have to find some access card. And then I have to trawl all the way back through all of these areas I couldn't go through. There was hiss there. Now there's not. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. All right. What juicy mail have we got? Why not commit a few more um, federal crimes by tampering with mail? I feel like that's going to be the least of my worries. Um, then again, I feel like we can argue extenuating circumstances when it comes to um, destruction of government property. Being that, you know, we were kind of invaded by an extra dimensional entity. Alright, I think I saw... Yeah, sure. Improved reload. Let's see. Let's uh, let's check out some of the stuff we've been picking up. Unread. His barrier. Okay. Okay. That was that was just the normal thing that we destroyed. So the weak spot is the face. The weak spot is the face. You know. Tends to be for humanoid peoples. Alright, nothing interesting there. Case files. Alright, we already heard about that. Correspondence. Dead Letters Archive. Calvin Bruce published a delinquent mail. Handy database for research teams. Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the par paranatural world. I do like their use of the para prefix, because it's kind of uncommon, but it works really nicely because it, it means, you know, like adjacent. So paranatural, you know, it's just to the side of the natural world. Letters come to us from various places and times. You got them at the postal service now, so undeliverable. There is perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events. But even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to Oz and other altered materials. Alright. Book Club. Bureau Book Club brunch will convene in the usual spot at the corner table of Cafeteria 5pm on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch, so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Oh, that would drive me. I would never be able to do, like, a book club if we're, like, writing up fucking essays to talk about. No, that's... Nah. That's that's English class shit. Fuck that. Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that! I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Okay, James. Machine God. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know, or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. 
I use the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> yes. Praise be to the Omnisama. Singing Fish. Mr. Gubner, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you got the same folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's called devil in it. Flies around at night and sings devil songs. There's a lot of cuss words. Devil got in my house because of the fish. You got to come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Don't worry, Dwayne the Barr Johnson. We'll get your fish. Fine, I'll hydrate. Thank you. Alright, let's get an emotional support fire extinguisher. And, oop, I see a white thingy. Alright, I can't hold any emotional support physics objects while I'm grabbing stuff. That's unfortunate. I keep pressing F. Not the right button. Just put like a Brazzers logo over that. Whoopsie. Alright. I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Is this another secure area? Nope, can't pull that lever. Alright. Um, upstairs? Whole bunch of people just hanging around. Hey guys, you know, what's up? Ooh, clearance level one. Speaking of thing, hold on, he has, he has one of those Iron Man things. Oh, maybe the hiss shot him. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Oh, hell yeah. That's some jams. Ghosts. Oh, stretch. Alright, Akari. Tell us of hauntings, voices, and the the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. Suspicion Con? <laughs> the night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body. Imagine Suspicion is probably. Under the bed. The uh, a convention for conspiracy theories, other cryptids. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. Hauntings have been reported in room 47 ever since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick. Well, that's kind of creepy, dude. Course. No ghosts visited me. No chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. It was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind Wait, of was he like in the another room. underneath the bed, but like on top of the bed frame? Have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take no forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story. Huh. Interesting. 
I don't know if it's lighting or if the graphics have suddenly gotten stranger. I think it's just, I think it's just, oh shit! Oh fuck! The fuck did he come from? Should have seen him, Jim. Should have seen him. Yeah, how about no? That's uh that's not a good radio station. I'm gonna veto that one. <laughs> Alright, um... Oh! Ooh, control point. Alright, so I think this is where we were supposed to go. I don't want to fast travel. Hold on. Open the map. Okay, so I need to go upstairs, in there, and then downstairs? Clearance level- wait, I thought I already had a clearance level door. one. Do I have like- do I have to use clearance codes individually? I could have sworn I already grabbed the clearance level one badge or something. Ah! These people... Spilling all their raspberry jam. Just everywhere. So inconsiderate to the janitorial staff. Uh... Great. Hold on, did he just dodge? You, you can't do that! Dodge these bullets! Hiya! Alright, I think I need to shoot him until he dodges and then chuck something at him. Or maybe not. Ow, my face. Uh, let's get some health. Yeah, health sounds good. Um, well, fuck. Oh, I just noticed his health bar. For a second I was like, man, I don't even know if I'm dealing any damage to him. No, not a puzzle boss. Just a damage sponge. You may have the ability to fly, but I have the ability to shoot gun. Let's see who's strong. I have a feeling he'll be back. No, nah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's stay focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry and... <laughs> Havana syndrome <laughs> shit! Numerous <personnel laughs> to the inner ear <laughs> are expected to make a full... AKA, we got drunk while on duty and need to have an excuse. The hotline can't be far now. Ring, 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 banana phone. Ring, 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 banana phone. Hotline chamber. Well, that's ominous. Alright, let's grab this. 
And as always, go against where we're supposed to go first. Oh, there's no extra. Oh. Ooh, almost missed the thing. The butt supplement. Uh, hmm. Nope, no thank you. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Dream Logic. The Light Switch Court. Door marked with the black Law of pyramid. Three applies. Maybe you have to flip that light that light switch three times. Yeah, exactly. Right into the void. <laughs> ah, shit. Do I gotta do that boss fight again? Okay. We at least got a checkpoint on that. Oh, hey, a thing. Really getting that cardio in. Yeah, never mind. Okay, so let's give it a few flicks. One. Whoa. Have we been here before? No. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like on the run. What'd you do? All of them, like something recognized from a dream. If I flip it again. It just takes me out of it. Okay. That's pretty dang trippy. 